The 20th anniversary of 9-11 on Saturday will be a somber day for many Americans. It will be much more emotional for a Minnesota man who survived the attack at the Pentagon outside of Washington, D.C. that day. Maury Glover has his story. The images are forever etched in our collective consciousness. The symbol of America's military might, broken and burning after the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history. But just around the corner from where a hijacked Boeing 757 crashed into the Pentagon sat Ty Peterson, who still has a hard time putting into words what he experienced on that fateful day. The day itself was just a nice, partly sunny day like, like today was, and uh, it kind of changed everybody's life forever. On September 11, 2001, Peterson was a captain at the Department of Defense working on budgets for the Air Force's drone program. He was talking on the phone with his wife Kelly about the two planes that had just flown into the World Trade Center in New York City when he heard a loud noise and knew something was wrong. Forget what I was doing. I was logged into the computer, but then there was a womb and the, the desk shook and the monitor wobbled. And then the alarm went off and I was talking to Kelly, my wife, on the phone at that point in time. And I said, holy beep, something just hit here. I'll call you when I get out. The point of impact was 583 feet from Peterson's desk, and by the time it stopped moving, it was just 400 feet away. Peterson says everyone in his area calmly went to the hallway where he could smell burning jet fuel and made his way to the parking lot where he met up with the rest of his unit. There was a big shadow that cast over the, uh, over the walkway, and we looked back up to the right, and uh, it was a big black plume of smoke coming out of the burning building. That uh, blotted out the sun there. After everyone was safe and accounted for, Peterson says he and a co worker started walking towards their homes 15 miles away. But at one point, they heard another loud boom and started running, wondering if the White House or Capitol had been hit as well. Later, I mean, then we could see the side of the Pentagon, we could see the floors had all collapsed in, and that's what the boom was. But uh, uh, we really didn't feel safe because we didn't know what was next, where, where the next plane might be coming from. Um, and then the F-16s showed up. <laughs> and we're flying patrols over the Capitol. <laughs> and then we felt safe. They ended up hitchhiking home, but Peterson returned to the Pentagon a few more times over the next several months. Always in the back of my mind was, I wonder if they're going to try to do that again today. He eventually retired from the Air Force and moved back to Minnesota, where his wife now runs a horse therapy farm for children with disabilities near Motley. <laughs> You know? Peterson says he used to take his mind off the anniversary of 9-11 by spending the day with his son Paul. But the high school senior died in a snowmobile accident in February of last year. Kelly was... Seven months pregnant with Paul on 9 11. I'm so glad I survived and got to know him before he died last year. But the peace and tranquility on the farm make the chaos and confusion of the terrorist attacks feel like a world away. Yeah, it's a good day. Uh, my, plan, my, my building wasn't hit by an airplane today, so it's not a bad day. In Leader, Minnesota, Maury Glover, Fox 9. I think we forget how emotional that day is still mm -hmm. for people. Um, what a tragedy in his life and, and how he's had to deal with that for the last 20 yeah. years. So traumatic for so many people. Anybody who was just like us, just watching mm -hmm. it too from afar. There are hundreds of thousands of individual stories, how the trauma impacted people. And, um, you know, 20 years, it really still feels like yeah. it was just yesterday. All right, and the anniversary, of course, is on Saturday. Now